Well, today the guys at Legendary Motor Car are starting to sand and polish this GTO Judge convertible. Now, a lot of people ask, why do you sand down a perfectly good paint job? Let me explain it to you. No matter who's painting it, I don't care if it's the best painter in the world, it comes out of the gun with orange peel. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sand all that peel right out of it, and what we're gonna use is aluminum block. Now the reason we use an aluminum block is because we spent a lot of time making sure the body is perfectly flat. Don't wanna ruin it at this stage. The steps are, you're gonna start with 800, you're gonna go to 1200, 1500, 2000 grit paper. Sounds time consuming, it really is. Now, Norton's come up with a system we're gonna use on the bottom half of the car or in the rocker panel area because it's not as important. And if you're doing a nice paint job that isn't gotta be show, show quality, you can use this system. What happens, knock on wood, if we get a chip in this, how do we repair it? Well, Norton's got a system for that as well. Well, once the blow-in's been done, the trick is to make the repair invisible. Old paint, new paint, hazy in between. So what do we do? Norton's come up with this system. It's a spot repair system that gives you everything in one bag to finish this car. We'll start off with some 50, or actually 2500 grit sandpaper. Just lightly go over the surface just to take out the imperfections and to start your blend. Now what you want to use is a compound and a wool pad, which is fairly aggressive, okay, and we'll use a fairly aggressive compound as well. The trick here is to go slow, make sure you keep it wet, and always run off of the blend so you don't rip into the new paint. Now the other nice thing about the spot repair kit is it's just that. You wouldn't polish the entire car with this small, small disc, but it's great for going around things like this headlight where with the big pad you'd be in trouble. Okay, now we're ready to go to a less aggressive pad, which is a foam pad, and a less aggressive compound we're into the fine abrasive. Now the nice thing is this kit literally has everything you need from A to Z to do this repair. Now as you can see, that blend line has completely gone away and the repair is invisible. Now, how does that help you at home? Well, Norton's got a system for small touch-ups for you to do yourself. Now there is a spot repair that you can do at home. Like any chip, what we have to do is fill that chip with paint. So if this is your little valley here that the stone's taken out, fill that till it's level with paint. Start with a small touch-up brush, paint on a tin. It might require a few applications to get the touch-up paint built up above and beyond the existing paint. Once you're at that stage like we are now, make sure you let it dry because if you start to sand that touch-up paint while it's still a little bit uh, sticky or spongy, it's gonna rip it right out of the hole again. Now typically when you've got your touch-up finished and it's dried, you've got this little blob here. Now, it's filled in the crater, it looks better than it did before, but how do you get rid of it? Well, Norton's got this miniature version that they sell to the public of it, what I just showed you. It comes with two different grit sandpapers, which you're gonna do by hand instead of with a machine. And what we're doing is actually sanding down that blob of paint. Now you can see your repairs disappeared. We're ready to start polishing. Now they've got two different grit sandpapers. They've got a mini wool pad, just like we used on the other car. And they've got two compounds. And you're just gonna do exactly what we did with the machine, except by hand. This is a coarse compound with a coarse wool pad. You can see your repair has disappeared, and it's still a little hazy, so what we're gonna do is go to a finer foam pad, and we're gonna go to a finishing compound. This actually is colored, so it'll actually help hide any fine imperfections. Now the kit comes with four different pads, two different compounds, two different grit sandpapers, and this little handheld thing that everything attaches to. So you can do it at home, do it in the garage. You got a perfect repair for your little stone chips.